on my quest to research and find a Les Paul that wasn't a backbreaker, I found this. This is the Stanford Marquis, and it's pretty damn awesome, actually. Uh, let's let's check it out. A little bit of backstory. I used to own a Greco Les Paul, um, but it was a backbreaker, so I traded that one. But the you know Les Paul bug kind of bit me, and I had to find a new one. And I was researching Maybach guitars, looking at their Lester series, and I mean they looked awesome. And I was looking at their Instagram, and actually found this guitar, the Stanford CR Marquis, and yeah, I jumped on it. I jumped on it. I had to try it out. I mean, it looks, it looks really nice. It's, uh, I mean, it's simpler in execution, uh, but it really fit my needs. Uh, so yeah, let's let's look at the body a bit. The body of this guitar is mahogany. Um, the top is maple. It's super lightweight. It's 2.5 kilos, which it's basically nothing. Uh, this is because it's semi-hollow. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's really resonant and really nice actually, especially if you're looking for something that's like easy on the back. Yeah, uh, it's super interesting. As for hardware, we're looking at a tunematic bridge and a stop tail, tail piece, the configuration, uh, of the guitar is basically the same as a Les Paul. You have your three toggle switch and you have your volume and tones set up here specifically for each pickups. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it works as it should. It's really nice. The finish is a gloss amber. It's actually really nice. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, the flaming on it is beautiful. Uh, I really like this. I mean, if you're not into super glossy guitars, then that might be a problem because it's fully covered in poly. And if that's not your jam, maybe this guitar is not your jam. But for me, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's a bit sticky at sometimes, but you know, all of the you know cheaper guitar lines usually features poly, and you know, we got to be used to it now. Uh, yeah, it doesn't bother me. It looks really nice actually. For the pickups, these pickups are PAF style. Pretty vintage, low output, but they sound great. I mean, it, they do the clean thing and the edge of breakup thing beautifully. They are very open and airy and warm. I like that a lot, actually. Uh, if you're into like high output pickups, I would recommend you switching these out. Uh, but otherwise, they, I mean, they sound great. They sound really good. <laughs> So let's talk about the neck a bit. The neck is Mexican ebony, the fretboard. The back is uh, mahogany. I mean, it looks great. This one features a bow nut, Cluson style, whoops, <laughs> Cluson style tuners. Uh, they look great actually. You have 22 jumbo frets and dot inlay markers. Um, yeah, as for the profile, it's a C profile. To me, this felt pretty chunky, uh, to be honest. It took a while to get used to. I think the neck is a bit, like the nut width is a bit wide. I don't remember the number, uh, but yeah. I mean, it plays really well. If you're into a little bit like chunkier neck, then this is for you, for sure, for sure. I mean, it's going for that vintage thing, right? So it's, yeah, it's really nice, actually. One thing I noted about the neck is that it's extremely well set up. It's like super low action and I mean, there's no fret sprout or anything. I mean, it's the best budget guitar neck I've ever played actually. Uh, the no fret sprout thing was really interesting. I mean, it's just beautifully set up. Uh, see if you can have a look at 
the frets. I mean, it looks and plays really well, and I was surprised. Uh, yeah, for a Chinese-made instrument, it's really, really well done. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. So what are my thoughts about this guitar? It's actually the best couch guitar I've ever played. Yeah, since it's so like lightweight and since it's like semi hollow, uh, it just rings out. It's perfect to play in the couch while you're watching something or doing scales or whatever, stuff like that. I really, I really like it. So if you're looking for a really nice couch guitar, yeah, this, this is probably it. Price wise, I think it's a bit on the expensive side actually it's 800 euros i have no idea if they sell these in the us yet uh but i mean what you get for the quality of this yeah i mean sure it's a bit expensive but i mean the way it's set up and everything you don't have to pay extra for that because it's just perfectly set up from the box and it also includes a hard case uh which is a nice feature uh, so yeah, maybe the price is exactly right for this one. That's all I have to say about that one for sure. <laughs> is it worth to buy this one for 800 euros? Well, kind of depends. For me, it's definitely worth it. It's nicer setup and a nicer quality instrument than most Epiphones I've played. So I would rather pick this one up instead, to be honest. Uh, if you can get over the fact that it's made in China, uh, yeah, then go for it. I mean. An Asian-made instrument doesn't have to mean that it's a worse instrument in any case. In this case, it's really well made. So yeah, if you're interested in this, pick it up. Pick it up. It's a really nice guitar. Let me know if you're interested in any Les Paul style alternatives. I've been looking into Stanford, of course, since I own this one. I've been looking into Maybach as well. Uh, I'm definitely looking into Eastman. Which ones are you looking at? Is there a brand that I don't know about that I should know about? Maybe get on this channel and try it out. Uh, yeah, let me know. Put it in the comments down below and I'll uh, hopefully I'll check them out. Uh, I would love to check out Maybach for sure. Uh, maybe I should shoot them an email, see if something could happen because that would be awesome as well. Maybe compare these two, I don't know. Or maybe compare them to my Bernie's. We'll see. Yeah, that would be awesome. Uh, yeah. If you have any questions about this guitar or any of the other guitars I have in my room or any other gear that I have, please let me know. Put a comment down below, hit me up on social media, my Instagram, I'm always on there liking guitars and stuff, sending off DMs to people and talk about their guitars. Let me know, talk to me, I would love to talk to you about more guitars. So I think that's it guys, talk soon.